Duck for Turkey Day by Jacqueline Jules. Pictures by Catherine Mitter. To get ready for Thanksgiving, Doyette's class sang turkey songs. They made pine cone turkeys. They talked about pilgrims and Native Americans. See you on Monday, Mrs. Cook said when the bell rang. Have a great turkey day. Doyette was excited about the Thanksgiving holiday. They would get three days off from school. But there was something important she had to talk to Mama about. Mama, Thoyet said as soon as she got home, we need a turkey for Thanksgiving. No, we don't, Mama smiled. We'll buy duck at the market. But everybody else has turkey, Thoyet said. That afternoon, Banoy arrived from New York. Thoyet hugged her grandmother. We're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner. I know, Banoy said. We're using my recipe from Vietnam. Everybody else has turkey. Our family likes duck better, Banoy answered. Back home, Doyette went to her bedroom. She pulled her pinecone turkey out of her backpack. Mama and Banoy don't know the rules about Thanksgiving, she told the turkey. Doyette counted the money in her wallet. Twelve dollars. It might be enough to buy a turkey at the market. On Wednesday, Mama drove Toyette and Banoy to the Saigon supermarket. Toyette held her wallet in her hand. Inside the store, she saw all sorts of vegetables. She saw fish, pork, duck, chicken, beef, shrimp, but no turkey anywhere. Toyette watched Banoy talk to the man at the counter. He handed her a package. This duck will be delicious, Banoy told Toyette. Toyette put her wallet in her pocket. The next morning, good cooking smells filled the house. Doyette peeked into the kitchen. Soon all kinds of food would be put on the table, but there would be no turkey. Doyette ran to her room and brought back the pinecone turkey she had made in school. Now there's a turkey on the table, she said to herself. She felt a little better. Her cousins, Gimili and Min, came over at three. They played tag outside until the grown-ups were ready to eat. Did you know we're having duck for Thanksgiving dinner? Thoya asked her cousins. Yum, said Kimili. I love duck. With spicy sauce, said Min. Mama called them inside for dinner. Kimili and Min ran up the steps, but Thoya walked slowly. Was she the only one who knew that Thanksgiving was turkey day? I'd like to give thanks, Daddy said when they sat down at the table, for a home in our family. For America, Banoi said, raising her glass. For all this good food, Min said, picking up his fork, I'm hungry. Everyone laughed and passed their plates to be filled. Thoyette had a little bit of everything, but she had seconds of the duck. She loved the spicy sauce and dark meat. When it was time to say goodbye, everybody hugged. What a great Thanksgiving day, Kimili told Toyette. It had been wonderful, Toyette thought, with lots of good food and family fun. But what would Mrs. Cook say about eating duck on Turkey Day? On Monday morning, Mrs. Cook gathered the class on the story rug. How was your Turkey Day, she asked. Tyler raised his hand. My grandpa came. We played football. That's nice, Mrs. Cook said. Who else saw grandparents? Doyette raised her hand along with other classmates. Who saw cousins? Mrs. Cook asked. Doyette raised her hand again. Who'd like to talk about their dinner? Mrs. Cook looked around the room. Doyette put her hand down. Tears burned her eyes. Is something wrong? Mrs. Cook asked gently. We didn't have turkey, Doyette blurted out. We had duck. For a few moments, the class was quiet. Then Fong raised his hand. We didn't have turkey either, he said. We had noodles and chicken. We had lamb, Tarek said. We had roast beef, Jonathan said. We had enchiladas, Carolina said. We had tofu turkey, Amy said. Mrs. Cook smiled. It doesn't matter what you eat on Thanksgiving, as long as you have a good time with family and friends. After school, Doyette hurried home. Mama, she called when she opened the door. I have a new name for Thanksgiving. In our house, we can call it Duck Day.